Good evening, humans. Travis Rosemoth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the WWE Ultimate Edition 20 Roman Reigns figure from Mattel. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks awesome, and obviously we've gotten a ton of Roman figures over the years. Um, I only have this and his previous Ultimate, but uh, a vast improvement, I, w I must say. Like, the this definitely looks a lot more like he actually looks in real life, and uh, I have that other Ultimate here, which is definitely a lot more bulked up and like kind of action figureified, which I'm fine with, but this is really cool to see like kind of more his actual shape. And, uh, you know, because of that, we get some really nice new sculpt, obviously, you know, it's not the kind of like super roided out body, <laughs> but we get more of like his actual physique. Uh, they used a more matte plastic here, which is definitely nice. It doesn't really reflect the light as much. It just kind of looks a little more natural. Um, I think the pants are the same. Maybe it, uh, nope, that's new sculpt. Uh, pretty sure, yeah, it kind of looks pretty much new. Uh, obviously it's pinless, so there's some new stuff there. Uh, not only that, but the boots are definitely new sculpt and uh, look a, more, a little more like his actual boots look, or actually, I guess the, the black versus the red are two different styles. Um, but the boots are really nice. Obviously they get the, uh, you know, Superman punch logo. They got the kind of, like little black accents going on here as well. Some nice texture details going on there as well. His logo on the inside. So really cool stuff. Uh, not only that, but of course we get his right gauntlet, which has the Superman Punch logo with the stars. And uh, the left arm has the Roman Reigns there in red. And uh, the head scan, absolutely awesome. Like spot on. I mean, obviously he's still active, so they got a, a like recent head scan it just it looks awesome and obviously the the one that comes in the bot like fresh out of the box is the smiling portrait i really like that they included that kind of different and uh that's going to lead into a lot of stuff i go and talk into in the next section anyway but uh yeah and then we of course we get his tattoos and uh all very well done with those tampos so uh yeah really cool looking figure a great assortment of accessories here, of course. So let's jump right in. So right out of the box, we do get our requisite C-grips. Then we get a pair of fists. And finally, a pair of pointing hands. So all good work there. Then we get three different head sculpts. So we get the smiling one that we saw in the last section. Again, love that they have this kind of basically the, the promo face. Um, so really nice to see that as well as the very serious hair down face with the kind of smirk on it like very different look that's kind of awesome i thought it was going to be reused from the last ultimate but it's not the eyes are definitely wider uh the, the smirk's a little more pronounced like you can see it's kind of a different sculpt going on there so uh really cool that they updated that and then finally we do get one that came with the last ultimate and that is the screaming head uh, so excellent details all around there. Almost looks like a lost soul going that way. <laughs> really good stuff. Uh, then, of course, we get the Ulafala. This has been used on many of Roman's figures as well as other members of the Bloodline. So that's really cool to see. And then, naturally, we get the two belts, the Universal and the Heavyweight, uh, both with his side plates on it. And again, you know, one in blue, one in black. We get the you know, very bright gold. So really good stuff all around. And that will do it for accessories. Articulation balance here, absolutely wonderful. As you can see, freestanding kicks for days, just wonderful sense of balance going on there. Uh, and then to get into the rest of it, we do have our barbell joint here at the head. Uh, so we get some nice up, certainly with this head, with the other ones, obviously it's more limited because the hair is down. Uh, but with the hair up, we get some nice up. We get not really a lot of down. We are going to run into the jawline there, uh, but we do get a little bit of tilt. We get some rotation. We get really nice butterfly joints. So an insane amount of back, like elbows pretty much touch there, which is kind of amazing. So really good there. Some nice forward. We get pretty much perfect T with the shoulders. We do get bicep swivel, double jointed elbows bring us to there. We do get hinge and swivel at the wrists, all horizontal, of course, have not seen verticals on in uh, WWE figure yet. Uh, for the diaphragm, we do get a ball joint. So we get about that much forward, not really crazy good. We get much better arch back. 
Uh, we get some nice, really nice tilt side to side, actually probably the best range of motion there yet. Uh, we get some rotation out of that, but we also get rotation at the waist. Our hips are drop downs, of course. So we're dropping down about that far. Uh, and that allows us to hit full splits. Absolutely beautiful. Front kick, pretty much a full 90. Absolutely beautiful. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, bring us to there. We do get boot cut. And then of course we get some perfect point, some almost inhuman forward. Uh, we get some nice rocker both in and out and a toe hinge. So that will do it for articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with some other WWE figures. With some other wrestling lines. With some domestics. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with articulate icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the WWE Ultimate Edition 20 Roman Reigns figure from Mattel is that this is a great update to what we had had before. Just a great figure overall. Just certainly if you are a Roman Reigns fan, a fan of the Bloodline, and just collecting WWE figures slash Ultimate Editions, fully recommend it. Um, this is available from various online resources as far as I'm aware. Uh, also showing up on pegs and shelves in Walmarts and Targets around the time recording this video. So I wish you the best, best of luck in hunting in the wild or uh, hopefully I'll have a link or two in the description if I can find it in stock somewhere. So uh, yeah, hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining and if you did, Hope to see you back because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. So if any of that appeals to you, let's escape the world for a while. Just talk about some really nice plastic. And really, at the end of the day, I just hope you're well. Hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simians.